Howdy folks, it's your boy Loza, but check this out today. I'm on the podcast uh, from Cowboy for Game, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, talking about Legend of Blue Eyes, talking about Dark Magician. So go over here and, you know, if you love hearing me have a chat, well, here's me having a chat with some like-minded individuals from my locals. So yeah, if you want to get more info on the Loza universe and Loza lore, well, here's the place to do it. I also noticed Blake goes faces here, and this is just an iconic screenshot, because Blake is talking, and whenever Blake talks it's a big moment for to laugh like jake here he's doing the big laugh ben's contemplating life and i'm sitting look, look at the look i'm giving him i'm giving him that oh my my face is in the way the look i'm giving him here is like that of a married couple that, that of a wife who's just like here we go again he, he's he's ranting again and it's probably about book of moon anywho the link to this video will be in the description it is an hour long video so you don't have to watch it and remember it is a podcast so you don't necessarily have to watch it at all just listen to it in the background but yeah i just thought that would be something cool for you guys to listen to because uh, i am back at uni now and that does make it hard for me to make content <laughs> But I will try pump out as many Dark Magician videos as I can. But anyway, on with the video. So today I'm going to be giving you guys Dark Magician channels to watch while I'm uploading less and while you want to get better at the deck, right? Well, you shouldn't just watch me because while I I think I have a pretty good insight to the deck and I think I can provide you with some decent information and fun builds to play, I do think you're way better off getting information from multiple sources and then, you know, creating your own perfect Dark Magician deck. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of Dark Magician YouTubers who I rate very highly. Now, if, if you're not in this video, please don't be upset i'm trying to just rate the people who i genuinely went to when i wasn't sure what to do with my build either in the past year or so or people i talk to on a regular basis seem to share similar views with me and we can just kind of bond and craft like a really cool deck the bottom line is these players i respect very highly and i get to chat to them pretty regularly not so much anymore but in the past couple of months and yeah i gotta say these are the people to watch guys so yeah let's kick it off with dark magical gaming you can see uh michael's got stacks of videos here uh this is his most recent one the buster blader list and look maybe the buster blader list isn't quite for you but he does have a bunch of other dark magician decks his latest one where he plays with gear Su and you know the striker package and the black metal package and he shows off you know a variety of ways to play dark magician all within the one deck really he has great videos about you know the sad truth about dark magician decks and he elaborates on some of the issues of the decks so he can provide you with some insight to the deck as well as provide you with some fun builds now let's not forget, Michael's doing a giveaway for Magician Souls. So if you still don't have your Magician Souls, please go over and sub to Michael. He is currently at 860 subs. He needs to get to 1,000, guys. Come on. This is the guy who got me back into Dark Magician. I honestly had given up on Dark Magician. I was playing my monkey decks and whatnot, and I stumbled across Michael topping with Dogmatica Dark Magician, and that is what caused me to come back to the deck and want to play back into my favorite deck of all time. You could be that to someone else, and you might not even know it. Pretty sure Michael, I think he knows that information now, but you know, at the time, I just remember reaching out to him and saying, hey man, I really liked your video, like, you played Artemis, and like, spoke about it, and no, no players do that, like, you just seem to know your shit and you've topped obviously so you know what you're doing and it was just so good to talk to someone kind of saw eye to eye with me about the deck we knew the deck's weaknesses we knew the deck's strengths and we just wanted to find ways to make the deck more competitive and sometimes that's just by tricking your opponent with multiple engines and some people hate that because they're like oh, it's not a pure deck but michael and i have always prioritized winning over you know stupid comments like oh it's just dragoon turbo or oh, you're just playing different engines it's not even dark magician anymore. Anyway, yeah, shut up, kid. We're actually out here trying to win with the deck, and if you want to win with Dark Magician, this is a great channel to follow, guys. So please go ahead and uh, subscribe to Mike. So I found Michael's channel, as I said, via me, you know, having the urge to play Dark Magician again, and Michael's video was really crazy. Well, it, this is funny, because this is Matt's channel, and it's the opposite. It's the <laughs> complete opposite to how I found Michael's. Now, Matt actually just roasted me in one of my comment sections and was like, 
Why aren't you playing Upstart? Why aren't you playing this? Like, you call yourself Dark Magician Master. Why, why aren't you doing this shit? And you know, I, I get a lot of these comments all the time. And a lot of them are, quite frankly, just irrelevant. Because you know how YouTube comments are. It's a lot of people saying, Oh, you should play Circle 3. Uh, you know nothing about I have to my... You know, it's a lot of stupid comments, right? But the thing about Matt's comment was he was 100% in the right. And you know, when, when I get a comment like that, I normally just dismiss it immediately. But I was looking at Matt's comment going, No, he's got something here. The, the Upstart thing got me. And that's... That's what really intrigued me as to Upstart's importance in the deck. And Matt is one of the people who, once again, insulted me. Well, he didn't insult me. See, this is the thing. People think roasting is like a form of, you know, being toxic. But I think those people are just uneducated, to be honest. And that might be seen as a toxic viewpoint. But the point is, I think if someone roasts you or is honest with you and is critiquing you in an honest manner, they're trying to help you. Like at the bottom line, whether you think it's condescending or not, they're trying to help you. And that is exactly what Matt was doing. Matt had clearly seen my content for a while, but he saw that I, you know, had a couple of holes in my thing theories and he actually patched them up for me and from that I was able to get into contact with him via discord and facebook and like we chat about the deck quite a lot now I want to say I I'm surprised we haven't done a collab video yet we we've been trying to do it but Michael Matt and I all live in different time zones so it does make it very hard to set everything up we do roast each other's decks every now and then and people actually send me when Matt does a video roasting me or like mentions me in a video people send it to me and they're like hey man this guy's talking shit about you they're like do you want me to back you up I'm like <laughs> Like, bro, it's okay. Like, this is what we do. We roast each other. It's, it's, it's cool. Like, that's, that's what's, that's what the whole roasting series is really about. Like, the people who get offended by the roasting series, I really just think they're missing the entire point. So Matt is just a genuinely funny guy. Uh, another thing is he sounds like Archer or, you know, the main character from Bob's Burgers, Bob. Um, so yeah, please go and comment that on his videos because it's it's very funny and it will definitely never get old, right? Right? <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna try uh, have a video with him soon and force him to say Archer lines. I mean, if Matt's watching this, no, I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna put Archer lines in the script and try to trick him into saying them. Look. Not at all. Anyway, Matt is great at this deck. He knows his shit. There's a bunch of videos that can help you out. He's got replays. He's got, you know, Dark Magician, <laughs> Solitaire, Test Hands, and whatnot. And this very first Dark Magician uh, profile he put up for me, the in-depth Dark Magician competitive list, I believe he spoke about Upstart a lot in this video. So I'm pretty sure this is the video where he explained to me why Upstart's so good. And it was just super beneficial. I never even saw the connections. And the very first tournament I played that Upstart, I just saw the paths with it. It was, I had a hand that was Upstart and two Soul Servant and like two hand traps. And I was like, this does nothing. But then, then I'm in the tournament and I'm like, wait, wait, no, no, no. Like Matt, Upstart, Soul Servant. And I go, Upstart, Chain Soul Servant, Stack Magician Souls, Magician Souls comes out. I banish Soul Servant to draw one. Opponent says nothing. I chain the Soul Servant again. And then I've got Rod. And then I had my way to Anaconda off Upstart Double Soul Servant. And that was just such an incredible feeling. And then I had the two hand traps to back up. Actually, I think I drew into Nadir at some point as well. I think. I, I can't exactly remember. But I'm pretty sure I drew into Nadir at some point. And then I had the Winder as well. And it was just insane. Absolutely insane. So kudos to Matt. Like, he knows his shit. We do play different builds, I just want to say. Matt normally plays like a trap heavier build. Um, but that's absolutely fine. Like, some people like that better. So please go check out his profiles too. Uh, between Michael, Matt, and myself, I think you're going to have a very, very strong kind of Dark Magician base to go off because these are three channels where we talk about Dark Magician nearly every day or every week. We have a video at least. But now I'm going to get into like a really good Dark Magician player. He doesn't upload content, however. So when you type in Ryan Dark Magician, Deck, you're gonna see uh, Ryan's deck from four months ago come up. That's not really the one you want to look at right now. Uh, where is the new one? It's not actually here. That's depressing. Here's me reviewing. <laughs> I'm here reviewing that old deck, but that's not the one. Oh, wait, sorry. It's right here. I'm so blind. So this is the most recent one where Ryan popped off. I'm stupid. So this is the new video right here. So if you do type in Ryan Dark Magician, here is him topping two weeks ago, making top eight, which is absolutely incredible for the deck. But before that, he's been known for topping the deck in the past, so he is in one of the group chats where we talk about Dark Magician quite a lot. So please do not dismiss Ryan. Um, he does play a lot of other decks, but that's just because he's a good player, right? So that's why when he comes to Dark Magician, he knows what he wants to do, and he does actually have good results with it, even though he never has content on it. So yeah, a couple of people are a little bit misinformed when Ryan does drop his opinion on things. People are like, who are you? Like, you've never done anything with the deck. Like, you're a nobody. You're absolutely incorrect. You couldn't be more wrong. Ryan is actually one of the better Dark Magician players. And while Michael, Matt, and I spew out content, I want to say Ryan has the better results of the three of us. That might be incorrect. But 
what I'm saying is he's got good results and please do not dismiss someone just because they don't upload content, okay? Just because they're not a YouTuber, you know, it doesn't mean shit, alright? Ryan is an absolute unit and his opinions are very based. Alright, this channel is already quite a big channel. He's got 20k subs, so kudos to you, Zeph for Wargames. Uh, so this is Dale's channel and Dale... I'm going to be honest, uh, if Dale's watching this, big sorry for what I'm about to say, but I did think Dale's channel was just a, a kind of another classic, like, hey, look, I upload deck profiles and kind of just, you know, I don't really compete anymore, I just, here's profiles. And that sounds kind of bad, but that is just what his profile looked like at first to me when I first saw his YouTube. I don't know, it's just common of like popular YouTubes to have this kind of uh, casual following. But if you actually look into Dale's Dark Magician profiles, he actually has really good uh, Dark Magician results too. Better than me. Better results than me. So how wrong was I? I was absolutely wrong. So Dale got seventh place at the 120 person regional, Kelmsford. I don't know where that is. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> uh, the point is he just did so well. And the deck profile is so spicy. It's, it's got the Diviner of the Herald. It's got Saravis. He shouts me out in it. Like, he's just a nice guy. And he's he's got results with the deck. Um, so, like, one, I was super wrong about the channel. And, yeah, once again, I'll apologize to Dale and say, hey, I, I don't know. You're just a popular YouTuber. And they tend to fall into the category, such as some other YouTubers, which I will not name, uh, where they just upload deck profiles for views and yada yada. But Dale is different. So please go and sub to him as well. He is actually a genuinely good Dark Magician player as well as a YouTuber. So he's he's the best of both worlds, guys. If you want to see cool Dark Magician and just generic Yu-Gi-Oh content, he's got it all for you. Plus, he's just a really nice guy. So yeah, all the channels I've recommended so far are more for TCG Dark Magician, people who want to do well in tournaments. But this guy, I Am Boyan, he is an absolute unit at Master Duel Dark Magician. Please, if you want Master Duel Dark Magician content, I cannot recommend a better channel than this guy. He makes Plat 1 every season playing the deck. He has proof of it, he has replays of it. So many people doubt him and like talk shit about him in the comments and I don't understand it. I've watched this man play, I've watched this man talk about the deck and he's not talking shit. He knows exactly what he wants. He knows the uses of Artemis, Link Spider, I'm Duck, Anaconda to magicalize fusion plays. He knows like, I have to mine it's not the best card. You can play it if you want, but he prefers to play secrets and yada yada. Like his earlier profiles were playing some of those older cards, but he's updated them already. He does well on the ladder. How to beat, like his first video right here, how to beat Drytron. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Secret Village with some spice, but the point is this man knows his shit. Look, he's got a seven win streak in Plat 1 with, with the deck. Like, just go and watch his content, guys. He is probably the best Dark Magician player on Master Duel, I want to say. Like, I, I still struggle with the deck on Master I get fed up with the deck. I get frustrated with the deck. This guy seems to be, like, the Yugi Moto of this deck on Master Duel. Please check him out. He's a really nice dude. I can't, like, he's already at two su 2k subs. I'm pretty sure he was at 1k, like, the other day. This channel is going to shoot up, so please go and check it out. I'm not subscribed. I am on my second account, but I'm going to subscribe on my... Uh, my casual account. So yeah, please guys, check out I Am Boyan if you are deep into the Dark Magician rabbit hole on Master Duel. Right, another channel we got to talk about is Nolan TCG. Now, this is a channel from my locals run by a guy called Ben, uh, who was in that podcast from a bit earlier. Just dropped my pen. And what's important about Nolan TCG is there are a lot of locals replays posted here. He does record a lot of our locals. So there will be me playing Dark Magician on this channel. I'm going to go find one right now. It shouldn't be too far, but I haven't been to Locals in a while. Here it is. Here's me versing Altergeist. This is me versing one of my good pals, Lewis. Uh, I'm pretty sure I get absolutely clapped, but I'm going to save that for you to watch at some point. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I will get to Locals eventually. I'm really, really busy right now with uni work. But all that aside... I will be on this channel at some point. If you find any Dark Magician profiles on this channel, it's probably me. There's me versing Shadows. Uh, I'm pretty sure I get clapped once again. Here's me versing Earth Machine. Once again, I get destroyed. Uh, here's me versing uh, Salad, and I'm pretty sure I lose this one too. A lot, of, a lot of losing is a common theme here. Here's me versing Zodiac. I can't remember if I win. I, I'm going to guess that I don't once again. Oh, here's my, here's my most famous deck, Invoke Numeron Dragoon. I do have a lot of tops with this, so these might actually be wins. Oh, that's a spicy deck that I'm going to show off on the channel at some point. Here's me uh, getting Day 2 with Dark Magician on the channel. So I do have deck profiles on this channel too, if you want to check them out. 
Oh, yo, here I am. Here it is. There's so many decks of... There's so many videos of me playing the monkey deck. There's Dragoon Numeron invoked again, Dragoon Numeron invoked again. Here's the deck profile at some point. There might be an updated one later, but here it is here if anyone's keen. And here's me playing against Virtual World again. And here's me playing against Infernoble. And here's me playing against Salad. Man, I, I actually had really good results with this deck. Now, there are a lot of Dark Magician YouTubers I could have recommended, but I just wanted to touch on the ones that influenced me or the YouTubers that have helped me along the way. So please go ahead and subscribe to a bunch of these guys if you're interested. I will have all of their uh, links in the description. Please go check them out because unfortunately I won't be online quite as much for the next couple of months. But don't worry, I will still be here. I will still try to upload on weekends and whatnot. And most of all, I want to give you guys the best Dark Magician experience and give you the most information and I want to give you guys all the information you need to be good with the deck. And you know what? I'm not going to have all of it. And sure, I have some information, but guess what? I'm biased. Everyone is biased. Um, so I want you to check out Matt's opinion. I want you to check out Michael's opinion. I want to check out Boyan's opinion. I want you to check out Dale's opinion. Please. It is only through all of our opinions that I think you'll truly master a deck as meaningless as Dark Magician. <laughs> I, I kid. I kid. I love the deck. I really do. I just do wish... We had a couple of better cards, but that, that's all right. We got enough support, as everyone says. It's just not very good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have yourself a lovely night. And please, as always, play your Fs at 3.